In this video, we're going to discuss the intermediate value theorem. The first named theorem in this course. And the intermediate value theorem is important for understanding continuity. Here's what the intermediate value theorem says. Suppose you have some function f of x and it's continuous on a closed interval. And suppose you have some number b. Nope, already used b. Some number q. And that number is between f of a and f of B. Then there is some, there is a number P between in A and B such that F of P equals Q. That might not be easy to understand. But I think it might help if we think of this graphically. We've got a function defined on the interval from A to B. And this function is continuous. Here is f of a, here is f of b. And p, um, q is any number between f of a and f of b. Well, because continuous functions can't jump around, if we're going to go from here up to here, at some point we have to pass this value. So there has to be some point in the interval where we pass Q. And there is such a value here on the way from f of a up to f of b, we pass this intermediate value. And that happens at p. It might further help if we look at a concrete example, one with real world meaning. Let's say V of T is the velocity of a car. T can be measured in minutes. And we'll look at the velocity between zero and five minutes. And at time zero, 
the car was parked, its velocity was zero. At five minutes, the car is traveling at 30 miles per hour. Pick any velocity between zero and 30. Say 25 miles per hour. What the intermediate value theorem says is that if the car accelerates from zero to 30, at some point it had to be going 25. It couldn't skip this intermediate speed. And I write down what I said out loud. 25 is between F V of zero and V of five. So at some time P between zero and five, V of P equals 25.